Greetings humans. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, I am the human. Uh, I, hope, I hope you are too. I don't care if you are or not. But anyway, welcome to an unusual live because it's uh, my birthday. So I presume the gang are making a lovely party for me. Probably not. They haven't been very kind to me, as I'm sure you've seen. Uh, hello, Ruth. Thank you very much. Uh, how are we doing? It's Saturday, I think. It's so hard to know what day it is. But never mind. Anyway, I'm here. Hello, Paula. Thank you. Um, I'm here and I'm sober. I haven't got a drink. I've only got squish. I thought it was probably for the best that I don't have a drinky with me, considering. We'll see if that was a good idea or not as things go on. Uh, hello, Chloe. Thank you. I know, Paula. I've, I, my problem was I had a cup of tea and now I don't want booze. I mean, ha, ha, if that is not a sign of going, growing older, I don't know what is. I should have just put something in my tea. Oh, hello, Jack. Happy birthday and happy birthday to you too. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. Hello, Froggis. You are here as well. Well, it, it might be a uh, very apt froggist. You know, I'll be one of those people who was born and died on the same day. Um, I know, Apple user, hello. I know, I know, I know. Uh, hello, Anacrista. Thank you. Uh, hello, Emma. Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. I, I don't want to sound like Zula, but God, am I really behind with the messages already? <laughs> um Hello, Sock Monkey Frogus, it's 10 and you want booze. I know, right? I know. Hello, Mr. Werewolf Dude. Um, I'm going to accidentally block someone. I know it. I should be more um, coordinated because I'm using the right hand, but I'm not. Uh, hello, Josh. Thank you. 25 today. I know, right? Hello, Kyle. Thank you. Um, Appy, do you think I'm going soft as well? Uh, Jack, you want an empty bottle of booze as well. <laughs> So for those of you who haven't seen this uh, today's video yet, Kure very kindly got me gin, which she then tried all of. But then I also got a lot of razzlets, uh, which we're literally swimming in. And um, Zula gave me a signed photo to go with all of my other signed photos that Zula has ever given me ever. <sighs> yeah. Um, hello Ace, thank you. Um, Mr. Werewolf Dude, I've just given you a rundown of what I got for my birthday from the gang. Lots of razzlets. In fact, you can see one just over there. You can see it just over there. They're everywhere, literally everywhere. Um, Chloe, you've got booze, excellent. Uh, I, I do heartily recommend it. But, but not enough to be, uh, uh, what's the word? Banned, probably, <laughs> I think. Um, uh, oh, I think I should have a space holiday as well, Jack. Unfortunately, I think Zula says that it'll probably kill me. So it'll be the last thing I ever do, which will be great. Um... I feel like I was halfway through a sentence just now and I don't remember what it was, but hey, gone. Um, Mr. Wolf, dude, are Razzlets still up for adoption? Razzlets are still up for adoption. You can find the link in my profile to get them. Oh, this feels so much cheesier when I have to do it myself. And I have sleigh news, guys. I have sleigh news. Like hot off the presses sleigh news. The next edition of sleigh, I, the, the gang might have got me shit presents, but not everybody got me shit presents. I, I woke up to... Oh, that sounds really dodgy. I woke up to a present from Paula. <laughs> Nothing like that, I promise. We've got an ocean between us. Um, Paula's only gone and done the next issue of Slay. Just like like that. So I'm going to get it sorted. So Slay 2 will be coming really, really soon. Really soon. Really, really soon. Um, I'm behind with the messages again. Um, <laughs> and that crystal one day I'll wake up and find they've been moving around as I've slept. 
Well, I, th I feel like they already do that, but then I put that down to having a really crap memory. <laughs> so I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, and actually, so let's still do the Paula in honour of the Paula. Um, but until that issue does come out, there is, of course, the original issue available via Amazon. Follow the link in my profile. Blah, 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 blah. So... Uh, will I address the rumours about me in DC? There aren't any rumours. I mean, he is damn tasty, but, you know, like, not like that. In fact, I'm, I'm going to sidetrack myself. Um, I met new neighbours yesterday. Brand new neighbours. And eventually, you know, the conversation when you're meeting people comes around to what do you do? And I sort of pause, like, like how the fuck do I describe this? And um, our mother very kindly, <laughs> just like out of all the things that she could have plucked from the air to describe this, she goes, oh, well, you work from home. Yeehaw! Thank you, Froggis. Uh, she didn't say you work from home. Yeehaw, thank you, Froggis. She said, well, you work from home. And it sounded so bloody euphemistic <laughs> in front of neighbours like she could have said oh you know you 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 post stuff on tiktok she could have said that she could have said you know aliens or or something similar she could have said that no you work from home so thanks mum make me sound like a prostitute to new neighbours but that's absolutely fine that's absolutely fine it's fine less embarrassing than what i actually do right <laughs> Uh, hello and thank you. I hope everybody caught all of that story because if anyone came in halfway through, that would be brilliant. Um, anyway, I'm really behind with the messages. Um, Jack, anything from Patreon for your birthday? This is the look of someone who forgot. I, I, <laughs> I genuinely did remember uh, when I um, posted all the birthday poetry a week ago and then it went, I'm sorry, Jack, I'll have to owe you. I will have to owe you something special next week. I'm sorry. Oh, um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, Slay 2 is coming. Uh, I have nothing to confirm or deny with Dead Carl. Uh, and my neighbours wonder what I do for a living now. Uh, hello, Bug and Head Chris. Hope, hello, Harry. Harry, I really hope you joined before I started that story. Um, yeah, Frogis, how, how do you describe this? How, how, how does one describe this? Um, <laughs> I've used everything sounds euphemistic to me. Well, it kind of does. I mean... To be fair, everything about dead Carl and, you know, cannibalism and I'm just saying it's, it's, it's not a me thing. Just when I write the escape rooms and talk about dead Carl's me, it's it's online performer. Paula, I'm not sure that makes it any better. <laughs> An online performer. <laughs> Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> an online performer. Oh, <laughs> probably you're not here to make things better. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, uh, how do you hope I have a hangover tomorrow? Well, the escape room is written. We've just got to stumble through it. Um, but how much singing there will be and how vigorous the singing will be um, is anyone's guess. But, I'm, you know, I'm sensible now. I'm a sensible, grown-up, adult person. I'm not going to get, you know, weird. Uh, I totally am. The Director of Operations for an Online Interactive Theatrical Production. Oh! We need... <laughs> And Christa, I feel like we need a, a, a phrases, an earth phrases video just to describe this. Yeah. Frogus, there is always necrophilia. Always. 
Um, right, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, for a stumbling through, it does make it sound like a typical Sunday. But I promise that every... Well, I, no, I'm not going to promise that there is everything in the escape room that should be, because I don't know that. Every time something's gone wrong, I've thought I've done it right, so I can't possibly promise that. But anyway... Um, <laughs> Josh, you think the neighbours should do an escape room life? I don't think they should. I I mean, they seem very nice. They do seem really nice. Um, but this isn't the sort of thing that you can just spring on someone unsuspecting, is it? You know, you've got to f feel the waters. Feel the waters? Test the waters and feel them out. Is that a thing? I don't know. Again, everything's just a bit euphemistic. Feeling out my neighbours because I work from home as an online performer. Um, is there actually a knife that we can get to? Do you know what? I can hardly remember. I can remember in, we're in a bank. I only wrote it on like Tuesday or Wednesday. See, I don't even remember when I bloody wrote it, so... Yeah. Um, and that just—they might—they <laughs> might be scrolling along and think I recognise that voice. Well, that see, that's the beauty of this, isn't it? That I very rarely feature. I, I have a, a wonderful anonymity, kind of. Uh, oh, Ruth, thank you. That's very pretty. Um, once they hear, <laughs> once they hear the yeehaws, froggies. <laughs> well, I'm thinking as well, it's just got warmer. Um, so, you know, windows are going to be open. The gang will be recording outside. They'll get the gist of it sooner or later, right? Suddenly find the, the houses up for sale again. Um, Clue the things that go wrong are what bonded us together. <laughs> No one can leave now. No one can leave. Um, tell them I work for MI5. I protect the gang from the government. <laughs> then they really will think I'm barking. I mean, it's, it's probably too late to worry about that. Oh, Carl, there could have been a letter opener. That would have made more sense. Thinking about where I've put the knife or where I think I put the knife. I'm not sure, I don't know. Anyway, um, so banks are still a thing. Well, I think for the sake of the uh, escape room galaxy, I mean, we forgive a lot of things for the escape room logic and physics, don't we? So, I mean, I'm not saying it's a good bank. So, you know, yeah. Uh, oh, hello, Miss Susie. Happy oozing in San Diego. Um, Carl accidentally tapped something. <laughs> I'm behind with the messages, so I'm... Okay. Um, hello, Nikki. Thank you very much. We've got to have drinks. Well, I mean, at the very least, we need to do a drink along somehow, don't we? But time zones are tricky. Because, well, although, you know, I'm not fussy about drinking early if the situations right uh hello Yvonne birthday plans are doing absolutely fuck all I haven't done anything today and I'm knackered that's is that an age thing or is it just doing nothing thing doing nothing makes you more tired right although having said that I am doing a lot of talking right now so that can't be too bad I've not had that much caffeine we're fine um we're all barking froggies I know I know uh, Yvonne, who was I worried about finding out my day job? New neighbours, Yvonne. Met new neighbours. Um, I mean, I, I eventually, I did try to explain it because after my mother just said, you work from home, and it made it sound like I was a prostitute, I did try and um, explain this. You know, like funny things and, and the P word. I, I don't I don't want to belittle them when they're sat so close. Um, not the neighbours, the gang. 
I'm just going to shut up now because although I shouldn't shut up because we're only 15 minutes into the live, that would be really bad, wouldn't it? Anyway, if I want to send them some razzlets, <laughs> what as, as like a <laughs> as like a covert <laughs> operation <laughs> or uh, as a gift, I don't know. Anyway, um, there are going to be wedding plans coming from the gang soon. I'm just saying. If, if you think cries of milk me daddy are bad and the, the razzlet um, infestation is bad. I'm just saying I've heard whispers. I don't mean, you know, mint chuck chip and stuff like this. I mean whispers of wedding stuff. You know, summer's come in. Everyone wants a summer wedding, don't they? I mean, most people do. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why at all, anyway. Um, I yawn a lot less when I'm on camera. Oh, now you make me want to yawn for you. Yeah. Uh, Ruth, you're going to have a drink every time I say anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, and that because if only I had a Discord, I know. But hello, Catnap, you're in my walls with birthday cake enjoy do you know what i don't have a birthday cake because i haven't made one like what on earth have i been doing i don't have a birthday cake so i've got to make a birthday cake but only if i want a birthday cake do i want a birthday cake right like... guys do you think i want a birthday cake <laughs> right the reason i don't have a birthday cake is because i'm not i'm not really a sweet tooth kind of person right i'm more of a cheese booze kind of person as you may have gathered, right? So I was, I was going to make a cake that wasn't like a proper birthday cake. It's like this apple cake that's that's quite sort of sloppy and gooey. But so not only do I not have a traditional cake that you'd put candles in, but I also haven't made this other cake yet either. So I don't know why I'm telling you this. This is why I'm behind with the messages, isn't it? This is why I'm behind with the messages. Um... Harry, if I ever get a mate, how do I explain to them? But mate, do you mean a friend or <laughs> a mate? Mate. Make a cake from Baby Bell. Baby Bell? I, excuse me, I, th I think as a birthday I can do better than fucking Baby Bell. A nice brie. Um... Oh, Froggy, so you sloppy and gooey, are you? Uh, Miss Susie, you're going to see the animaniacs and pink in the brain. Or Breton and Rose as they are. <laughs> A saucy gentleman, that sort of mate. Okay. Um, Sammy, no mates. Do you know what? I did see uh, a friend of mine on. Um, I'm really behind with the messages, guys. I really, I really am. I'm just, it's just going to be one realm of. Uh, realm? Ream of unconnected thoughts. Uh, I met my friend on Thursday for coffee and it was a really, really nice day and we sat outside and I, I am actually sunburnt. So if you're thinking that I, I look red, it's because I got fucking sunburnt because of my poor, pasty, sun-sensitive skin. Uh, so, yeah, usually I'm a lot more ill-looking. Um... Anachronist, your hearing is very good. Yes, I think our father has just arrived home. I mean, I can barely hear that. How can you hear that? That is really disturbing. You're not in my walls, right? Like, seriously, I'm, I'm pretty sure that some of you, some of you might be. Um, anyway, I'm really far behind with the messages. That's how far behind I am. Um, an influencer of um <laughs> yeah what i influence to do what <laughs> uh sing along um giving guidance and care as a taxidermy bear um and by the way carl yes the gang are looking at me funny they which they often do anyway 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 oh god ruth <laughs> ruth you're gonna be pissed now <laughs> Um, right, shall I, try and, shall I try and get up to date with the messages, shall I? Um, so um, thank you everybody who's wished me happy birthday, thank you for everybody who said hello, uh, thank you to everybody for, you know, leaving comments and, and 
entering into the spirit of this. Um, oh, I think I've just heard our father open a can of beer, so he's, he's fine. And that kind of story, okay, everything's fine. Um, I'm going to try and skip a few messages. What I'm getting at is I'm sorry if I haven't addressed your messages, but I'm going to try and get up to date. Because I feel as well like I've, <laughs> I'm not even up to date with the message. I'm going to sidetrack myself again. I feel like I've dropped some bombshells on you. You know, like there's going to be another sleigh and the, the, the wedding is coming in. I'm going to say fast, but at the same time, I also wanted to say hot and heavy. <laughs> I don't know why. But it is really appropriate, uh, but also really not appropriate. I've, uh, do I need more or less filter between brain and mouth? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, Froggis. Thank you, everyone, but Froggis. Yeah, because, you know, we, we all know. <laughs> we all know what you're trying to do. <laughs> um... Uh, right, Chloe, you want to plug? Yes, hoodies, uh, t-shirts, bags, all of that. Lo just links in profile, guys. Come on, there's cool shit there. Really cool shit. Um, yeah. Anyway, oh god, I forgot that I'd rambled about birthday cake. I've just, I've just reached the bit in the messages where I was rambling about birthday cake. <laughs> um. Josh, you want to be under Raz and Bletting's bed? I cannot think of a worse place to be. You'd need to be in like a hazmat suit or something. That's swampland under there. Oh, anyway. Um, anyway, I'm really, really, <laughs> really behind with the messages. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sort of zip up to date a bit. So. <laughs> So thank you everyone for all of these messages that I'm now just going to skip past because um, uh, I've just completely <laughs> confused myself. Uh, yeah, Kaluna, thank you for telling everyone to shush so that I can catch up. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's just what you do and don't hear is is baffling because, like to me, it's just like a blah 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 blah. Little, although to be fair even when I'm in the same room that's just me filtering out some of the crap he says but you know uh but yeah I can barely hear that he's home anyway anyway he is um what age am I now Miss Susie mentally or um I'm 42 hang on what year is it <laughs> uh what's the poll guys what poll oh. Does the human need me filter more or less? Overwhelmingly less. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine is some of the stuff that I do say? <laughs> can you imagine what I don't? Uh, it is the meaning of life year. Yes, anachronistra it is. Um, yes, our, so to confirm, yes, our father is home. Uh, but no, he will not be joining me. Okay, I did, I did um and ah about wondering whether he would be here and joining, but no, I, th I, I think I'm enough for you. I'm enough. Um, so I was born in 1982. Yes, I was. I was born in 1982. You can do the sad face all you want, anachronista. I am not, not asking him. Uh, hello, you're Mr. Chicken and Whitney. Hello, thank you. <laughs> I'm very pleased that Whitney is still alive. Um, Chloe, mentally 14. That's, I mean, that's quite old. I did get a birthday card that said, um, what's the food you can eat that's, uh, you know, like time travel and it's ice cream because you feel like a child when you have ice cream. And I thought that was really sweet. But then it also made me think of bletting and these oozings and, and, and it freaked me out a bit. Right, so everyone wants me to have less filter. So I can only imagine how far behind with the messages will be when it's finally time for me to give up and stop the live stream uh, because yeah so I only look 25 ah oh, Mr Werewolf dude so kind um, I mean you just put all the Scooby-Doo movies aren't they 
what, like modern ones? Aren't they a bit shit? But what, 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 what are we talking about to make that? I don't know. Um, I don't care if anachronism... Well, actually, I do care if anachronism is devastated because they, see this is the thing the gang couldn't give a shit uh, but I, I do genuinely care about all of you but what I care about slightly more is that I am sober and I don't think I can deal with our father on a live stream <laughs> sober so oh oh me trying to tap on uh the pole is like some sort of face hugger thing going on the guys <laughs> Look, I don't want to be like Raz and Zula, okay? But it's not a fucking democracy, okay? Okay. So, no. No. No, Daddy. Um, anyway. Miss Susie, you spent last year thinking you were two years older than you are. See, what... <laughs> What used to make it confusing is when I was a kid, my granddad used to say that, like, you would say, well, I'm, uh, I'm in my 42nd year. And that just made it really confusing because you'd say, you know, I'm 42, but I'm in my 43rd year. You know? I, I, I have actually just confused myself. But yeah, that's the point. That's what he used to say. <laughs> and then it meant that no one knew how old <laughs> he was. Uh, anyway. Uh, Paula, who didn't bring booze to the party? Do you know, we've, we've got plenty of booze. It's just not, you know, there. Um, Chloe, there's nothing wrong with turkey dinos. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway... Yvonne, I don't know at what point you you type the message that says maybe therapy, but that I mean that could be a suggestion at any point, couldn't it? Are Razlitz the result of experiments or the result of experiments? The first one. Well, that's what Raz says that they are RA five L three T. R A five L three. Yes, that's right. Um, but. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I am sometimes quite observant about, you know, things that aren't at all important. Not not like really important stuff. But um, I think there's variations in the razzlets. I think, I mean, you know, like we have our bog standard razzlet, but I'm sure I saw one with some orange in it the other day. So I don't even want to know how that came about. But then at the same time, most of my life feels like a fever dream. So maybe I had just had too much gin that day and, uh, you know, passed out and had a bad dream. In fact, I'm wondering if I'm going to wake up at any second. Anyway, I'm behind with the messages again. Um, maybe Raz lays eggs. Is this back to like an alien thing? Talking about face huggers just now. I don't want to think about it. But that would make sense. You know, you know, like um, in Aliens where she finds the queen and it sort of tears itself away from the egg laying pouch thing that flips them out. Can't you imagine Raz doing that? I mean, you've never seen the other end. Just thups little eggs out like that. I'm not going to be sleeping now. Thanks, Paula, as usual. Um, anyway. <laughs> Where was I other than being behind with the messages? Um, so, yeah. The Queen is technically a Disney royal. There's always necrophilia. Um, yeah. Uh, Yvonne, it, the whole age thing, it is like the 20th century band. You know, like when it's New Year's and there's the bongs of Big Ben and it's always like, oh, well, is it is it the New Year on the first bong or the last bong? Or that's another perennial 
discussion. Well, it's a discussion that you don't have sober. I, th I think that's what we're getting at. A lot of these discussions are the ones you don't have sober. Anyway, enough about Big Ben. Um, Paula, you feel like we need a documentary like Our Planet, but about the gang. Do you, Paula? I might put that on the whiteboard. I might put that on the whiteboard. Um, anyway, I'm really behind with the messages again, everybody. I'm, I'm going to try and get a little bit up to date before it becomes too overwhelming. It's too late, isn't it? It's too late. Frog, guess you watch over me while I sleep. <laughs> Do you, Froggis? So you watch over me while I uh, basically have an argument with uh, the blankets, declare that my feet are too cold and then too hot. Uh, leave my music playing and then suddenly wake up at two in the morning wondering what the sound is. Uh, then watch me drool into my pillow. Yeah. Um, you're almost a chicken like a seahorse gives birth. What, like Raz? That, uh, no. No. I, I don't think we need, um, I really don't think that we need, uh, that we need to think about. I'm still not really clear on anybody's physiology because it feels very rude to look, even though the two in question are technically naked. What can I say? I've, I've become very good at maintaining eye contact. I, in fact, I deserve a fucking medal. <laughs> uh, Paula, you would lay claim to an orange and blue raslet. Well, would it be, would it be a raslet or would it be a blaslet? Maybe eight L three T eight a a or a bletlet a black blue an orange. Oh God, I feel oh from it feels like I'm having an out of body experience and I'm watching myself have a stroke trying to figure out eight L three T bled no that's bled eight <laughs> eight L A five L three T blazlet. <laughs> If anyone's flicking through and they've just found this life, they're like, that's entertainment. People really will watch anything these days, won't they? So technically we do have, no, I'm not having seahorse and Agrista, no, no, no. <laughs> Paula, who's responsible for making clothing? I know, I know it should be, well, it's not on the whiteboard. So what can I say? It's not on the whiteboard. Um, can we just, can we can we, can we move on? Um, if one of the razzlets going to be like Beanie Babies, can you imagine that? To be fair, I don't think it's ever going to quite get to that point because I don't think I'd be able to keep up with it. Although we could try. Plus, I don't want to think about too many variations of these things. Like, if, if they're not experiments and they are experiments. If one is pink, what's, I mean, what's going on there? Purple? Lime green? I'd, I'd, I'd really rather not think about, and, you know, if they are experiments, how Raz got the, oh, DNA material. Thank you for my crown. I almost missed it as I was gazing off into the middle distance. A blue, <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Yeah, one, why? 8L85T, L3T. I can't even read it. I can't even read it. What's wrong with me? See, it's just as well that I didn't have a drink. All right, actually, maybe that would have helped. Um, seriously, Ruth, you're going to be absolutely sloshed. Probably in about 10 minutes' time. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to try and get up to date with the messages. So thank you, everybody, for hanging in there. Uh, hello, Ghost Galaxy. You've probably come and gone. But hello and thank you for... Yeehaw! Anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to try and get up to date with the messages. Apple user pink means Kure got involved. I know, right, but, like, involved... Like, has DNA been harvested? How has it been harvested? You know, is it like 
any DNA and it's just manipulated or is it like specific DNA? I don't, and by the way, I don't want answers, guys. I really don't want to know. I feel like enough is going on. I already know too much. I would rather have plausible deniability. I don't need to know about alien procreation. Thank you. Maybe the gang needs to uh, need to make us a video, like uh, like a sort of secondary school biology <laughs> video <laughs> explaining it <laughs> with a few crude diagrams. I, I no no no. I don't know why I've suggested that. It's disgusting. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to say the a word. I'm not going to say the a word. I'm not going to say the a word. Um, anyway. I just said the A word. Just because I didn't say it then doesn't mean I can't say it at all. Right. I'm going to try and get up to date with the messages. Uh, and then I'm going to sidetrack us onto something else again. <laughs> when a space chicken and a space worm really love each other, yee-haw! <laughs> that, that, that is it. Chloe, imagine if a new neighbour's now. <laughs> a space worm and a space chicken really love each other. Yee-haw. Uh, I'm going to get up to date. We're not going to talk about plaslets. Um, <laughs> see, now I've just found Yvonne's comment about well played with, but not in, <laughs> I mean, in box. <laughs> And yes, that is, I, Apple user, I know you think that everything is a euphemism, yee-haw! Everything is indeed a euphemism, yee-haw. But, um, well played with, <laughs> but not mint in box. <laughs> Total euphemism. Uh, Blue the Fox, thank you. <clears throat> yes, a rare visit from the human. Um, chaos is ensuing. Thank you. Uh, Anyway, uh, Mr. Wellview, tomorrow's escape room is in a bank. The um, the escape room is already written. Uh, I just don't remember it. Um, Nat Chris, you got in trouble for singing Sperm is Sacred. Okay. It's funny, I, you know, I... I, I don't know whether I've screened out most of it or whether my school didn't really have that much, but um, you know, maybe it was too traumatic. But I don't remember that much stuff, you know. We'll move on from that. Don't need to be pulling at that thread. Uh, Kaluna, you think we should have it anyway as a sticker? We probably should, yeah. Uh, yes, Chloe, consent is like tea. I think they would get on board with that. I, uh, we'd have to say it was like gin for Kure, but yeah. Um, uh, if the Razlets <laughs> aren't adopted, we can just give them a beak. No. No, it's disturbing. Um, because we're a bunch of bankers. Do you know what, Anachronista, whenever I sit down to write an escape room, I... I think of all these amazing places that an escape room could be set and then somehow it just comes back to the most mundane, boring things. I don't know why, but that's just my creative phase at the moment is for mundane uh, escape rooms. So deal with it, especially if we're going to be singing. And I don't know, I don't know if we're going to have to do a thing where like maybe we decide when the escape room starts on just like which sort of four songs out of all of them we have like for that week i don't know because otherwise the escape rooms are going to be practically never ending you know what with all of your chaos and nonsense and sidetracking and my sidetracking and raz's sidetracking it's a miracle <laughs> it's a miracle we haven't had a 24-hour live yet and i'm behind with the messages again already right um, there should be a jumper saying I wasn't meant to say yee-haw. We should have a yee-haw thing, shouldn't we? Yee-haw! <laughs> uh, 
Um, anyway, Apple user, you're going to take a drink for every euphemism. euphemism. Excellent. Um, I jump to think what the neighbours will think when they hear Milk Me Daddy or Staphylococcus. Um, <laughs> if on the character limit makes it difficult to finish a thought in one go, I'm having a similar problem and I'm not impeded by a character limit. So, yeah. Um, Border, I didn't do star shots for two of the gang. I thought we had all of them down. Maybe Raz. We'll have. Okay, we'll have. We'll have to think about that. Mr. Bell did escape from an escape room. Well, I think that's how the world ends. Caught up in a paradox of escaping an escape room in an escape room. It makes my head hurt. That's never going to happen. Chaos and nonsense, Frogis. Yes, that is your milk and honey. Milk and honey. I don't. Oh. I don't know what thing there was, but it glitched for me. So, sorry if anyone did a gifty thing that I didn't react to because it's glitched. You can watch it in the replay if anybody wants to see <laughs> a replay of this. It will be posted on YouTube on Monday. You find the link in my profile. It was meant to be a self-care mask. Oh, it glitched. I had this little thing flash up, Chloe, and then it vanished. Hello, Mr. Psyduck. Got any grapes? Uh, the only grapes I have are ones that have been squished and left to ferment for some time, for they are the very best grapes to have. Um, Chloe, we can do a poll at the beginning of the top four, get the song. Excellent idea. We'll do that. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, someone sent me a face hugger. <laughs> At this point, Frogus, it would feel like blessed relief. Can you imagine? I mean, like, I'm sure it's quite unpleasant, but it's some sort of relaxation, right? To have that stuck to your face. And then, apparently, according to the films, which I presume is some sort of documentary, you do actually feel pretty great for a bit afterwards, after it drops off. And that, I mean, it's a bit of a drawback that the thing bursts out your chest. It's going to put a little dampener on your day, isn't it? But the rest of it sounds great. Uh, Basildon, hello. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I am the human and it is my birthday. Uh, and yes, I do refer to myself as the human. I should have just done that with the new neighbours, shouldn't I? Don't not introduce myself as Sam. Just, hello, I'm the human. <laughs> You know, eased him into it all that way. Anyway, another euphemism. Uh, <laughs> um, Miss Susie, do you still get a song when you resubscribe? Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, right, I'm, I'm going to try and get up to date with the messages. Carl's just randomly shouted me into a chip. It's fine. It's fine. Um, look at the back of sleigh. Paula, I did notice the moustaches at the back of sleigh. Um, but I didn't notice that anyone was missing. Yeah. Uh, Avon, I'm an influencer and leave it at that. Yeah, but what do I do? Who, who, who do I influence to what? Um, probably best leave that unanswered. Yeah. Say I'm an <laughs> don't say I'm an accountant. <laughs> uh, it might already be too late for that. It might already be too late. Um. Anyway, right. I'm 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 skipping up to date with the messages. Um. Yeah. I'm the human, honest, Gav. Yeah. So, <laughs> for I guess if I just introduce, I'm an average, normal human person. 
Ooh. Oh, it's too late for me to worry about it now, isn't it? A beauty influencer. That's what that's probably what Zula thinks they are, isn't it? Um Apple user, I influence a small group of chaotic souls. Do I though? Do I? It's like a two-way street thing. Isn't it? Isn't it? You know, like I just give energy into the universe and something comes back to me. Um, <laughs> normal is pushing it. Thanks, Basil. Um, uh, Yvonne, who or what I influence doesn't need to be explained, no. No, we're just, um, yeah. Um, I did influence, well, I, I didn't influence Whitney to joke. See, now we're back to it sounding like niche uh, online entertainment. Um, Sadly, you've missed it. And yes, Chloe, you're right. There is very good timing with the gifts today. There really is. Um, Apple user, me saying I'm the human gives the same vibes as the 11th Doctor saying I'm the Doctor. I would almost be complimented by that. If it wasn't the fact it was one. Uh, anyway. Uh, ace, two-way, yes. <laughs> and bad, bad influences, bad. Um, but fun. Uh, if Dead Carl did a get ready with me. Can, can, uh, can, uh. I know you've mentioned about a get ready with me before, Paula, but think about it. Uh... And actress, you wanted DC to serenade me. There really is nothing between dead Carl and I. Um, you know, just the occasional arse bacon sandwich. That's it. That's all there ever was between us. Um, and all there ever will be. Uh, Yvonne, do we have wedding colours yet? No, we don't. But I'm, I'm a little bit disturbed. I mean, can you imagine leaving it up to Bletin? It's not going to be, you know, like ivory and pink. It's going to be like neon green or something. Like an overexcited five-year-old. So, yeah, I don't know. Paul, you didn't ask for a taxidermy bear today. I, it, it, has, it hadn't gone unnoticed, Paula. It really hadn't gone unnoticed. Um, yeah. I'm an au pair. <laughs> an <agonista. laughs> Um, the neighbours, this is just me talking into the void. I, do you know what? I probably should have described it as I, I talk into the void. They did say, oh, what are you doing on your birthday? And I was like, oh, yeah, no, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to really relax. Except I, I just... <laughs> I do live stream every weekend, so I will be doing that. It's like, no, I will be shouting into the void uh, in a yee-haw, in a completely haphazard manner. I don't know why I keep, is it, am I, am I firing a gun like a cowboy? Is that what that is? I don't know. Anyway, um, Basildon, what do the razzlets smell like to a human nose? Well, the problem isn't so much the smell, so much as if you get close to them, the, the, the fur is, you know, going to kill you. I am a little bit concerned. I think it's kind of like asbestos. And I, I now just have stuff in my lungs from being this close to them. I presume that the gang have sort of got some sort of um, resistance. But, yeah, the amount of floof going around. My days are numbered. So, frankly, Froggis... You might miss your chance to kill me. <laughs> the Razzlets will get there before you. Um, let Tipo organise the wedding. It'll be, it will be more like a wake, Chloe. It will be more like a wake. Um, maybe Tipo and Bletin need to do it together. I don't know that Raz is really up to it. 
Ra uh, rasbestos. <laughs> Rasbestosis. <laughs> nice, Basildon. Nice. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and get out to take with the messages because I'm really far behind again. Tifo and Bletting, don't start. Paula, don't start. Not that. Not that. Not that doing it together. D planning it together planning the wedding together um although to be honest i it still seems weird to me like yeah i like i know it's been like a whirlwind romance or that or not that not that i think there's been any romance like who are we kidding not with the noises i've heard but um oh god i, I just distracted myself with the noises i've heard and, and now i've completely forgotten whatever i was saying what was i saying I did get the confetti. Thank you, Miss Susie. What was I saying? It's been a whirlwind romance. Uh, it's been a whirlwind. Um, I still find it hard to believe, like, of, of everybody, of every possible pairing. That's the weirdest, right? What will they have as party favours? Because <laughs> that's the burning issue, isn't it, Anachronista? <laughs> I, I'm going to be more interested in their vows in what sort of ceremony, in who they in who, who they invite. Like, it's not a given that I'm going to be asked, or in, in, indeed that anybody will be. Um, yeah. <laughs> the Ashes of Retrest, because everyone remembers that it's called Retrest. Um... Kaluna, will they have wedding outfits? Oh, I'm the, oh, see, I've just looked at the screen. It's, it's like you're 41 messages behind. I don't know. I can't be. I can't be. Can I? I can. Can I? I can. Um, Kaluna, I don't know. They probably will have some sort of wedding outfit. But then that will, I mean, that would entail the two people who are naked all the time to have any sort of fucking outfit. So... Headdresses seem to be the way to go, don't they? So maybe. No, no, I don't. I don't want to say anything that will incriminate myself later. I'm like, oh, someone said. Uh, oh, hello, me too. Someone thinks Raz is getting married. There's, there's whispers. There's whispers, and I know that you probably think it's some dastardly plan by Bletin, uh, and maybe it will be. Who knows? I mean. Trust me, Bletting is pretty, uh, you know, I'm not sure I see him as an evil genius. Definitely not the genius bit, definitely not the genius bit. Um, I'm really behind with the messages. Ooh. Oh, from, I almost sounded a little bit like Bletting then. <laughs> How strange. <laughs> um... Yvonne, you're going for kiwi green and pink, but then that, that's going to look like it should be a, a wedding between Kure and Zula. I don't know why I had to look at them to check what colours they were then, like, like if I don't know by now. Guys, I, I'm not going to make it up to date with the messages and it's going to be time for me to sign off. This is really, really stressful. Um, Josh, has, has Bletting got a best man in... in... <laughs> Josh, I will, I'll put your name forward, okay? I'll, I'll have a little word with Bletin. Um, but anyway, this, this is just whispers, just rumours. This is just, you know, buzzing around the air in the house, which is, is better than some of the things that buzz around the air in this house. Anyway... Uh, I'm going to try and get up to date with the messages. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to zip past some of the things that you've said. Because, I mean, it's all going to be very funny and slightly chaotic uh, and probably slightly stressful. But, um, Yvonne, are we sure that Raz wants to get married? No. No. Uh, and that, Chris, you're chatting a bunch of... I must say, I must say, I do... Uh, 
I do quite enjoy it when uh, I check on Zula's behalf uh, any comments on some of the videos and find that you're all giving each other shit. It's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, and it amuses me greatly. Uh, so, yeah, if you do it on the live as well. Excellent. Right, I'm behind with the messages still. Still. Uh, oh, Ace, interesting point. <laughs> you presume that interstellar law doesn't compel one's partner to testify against them. <laughs> Yee-haw! Pew, pew. I cheapened it. with Pew, pew. Um, unicorn. Hello. Uh, not mythical at all. Uh, I'm really behind with the messages though, Unicorn. So anything else you've said, I'm, I'm going to catch up to it in a minute. But hello, stranger. It's been a while. Um, yeah. And you've caught a live where you wouldn't normally call me. I don't do this very often. Um, so anyway. Apple user Paul, yeah, Paula is very liberal with her threats about fan fiction, isn't she? It, it did not escape my notice. But if it's going to happen to me, it can happen to any of you. <laughs> Deal with it, bitch. <laughs> um, Unicorn, we are all doing very well. Thank you. You still receive the newsletter. Excellent. Uh, and if anybody else wants to sign up to that newsletter, you can do so via the link in my profile, uh, follow the link tree and find the one that says newsletter, oddly enough. At least I think it does. Um, but yeah, you get a little little update every couple of weeks about shit we're doing. Um, so yeah, we're very good, Unicorn. Uh, how are you? I hope you are too. Because um, it has been a while. You know, life happens, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> mod, yes. Mod, yes. This... <laughs> Mods, can you stop putting stuff in the group chat? <laughs> um, the whispers are the voices in my head, Frog, as always. We, we don't need to start turning those whispers into full-fledged shouts, believe me. Um, I'm still so far behind with the message. Mr. Well, do, do I have a magazine or a rustic? So I do indeed have a magazine, Slay Magazine, available via Amazon, follow the link in my profile. The new one will be coming in very, very soon, uh, and I'll be talking about that. Well, I won't be talking about it endlessly. The gang will be talking about it endlessly. And yes, you can do the same if you want to adopt a little Razlet at your own risk. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and get up to date with the messages. I'll probably go, probably go really, really badly, but I'm going to try. Hello, Skip. You just woke up. I'm way behind with the messages. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Apple user, I know it's too bad Zara's not here. I know, I know. Uh, and Unicorn, yes, we are doing our escapers, which leads me to mention that you can join Raz tomorrow for an escape room. As we've said, is mentioned uh, setting a bank. That's the theme. Um, and there will be singing. And we will decide which things to sing. In fact, there has been very little singing in this live. I can't remember the last time that there has been such little, such little singing. So few songs. Um, yeah, do I have to sing happy birthday to myself? See, I don't have any of the gang to sing it. So, so I hope you guys have been singing it like constantly for the last hour while I've been live. I hope you've been singing me happy birthday on repeat. Um, Frog is, yeah, basically this whole live has gone. Greetings, humans. I'm behind with the messages. Finger of doom. That's, that's basically, basically. Oh, I'm behind with the messages. Bye shit. Finger of doom. I'm not saying bye shit like, buy shit. I mean, buy shit. Um, <laughs> and Christa, I'm not in your walls. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to cope. Um, put you in a live box and you'll sing it. I, I 
there's something about it that comes comes across as a, a threat, Miss Susie. Uh, I probably should have. I probably should have. I probably should have thought of that. Anyway, I'm. It, it's fine. We won't. We won't worry about it because because Paula says she's been singing constantly, and I believe her. I think she's very trustworthy. Why? Why wouldn't we? Um, thank you, Yvonne. You're singing. See, it's simples, right? If on your walls have squirrels, mine has froggies. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> kind of. Um, thank you, Miss Susie. Thank you for everybody who's wished me. Um, Mr. Welf, dude, you're singing as well. Excellent. Um, if Paul is trustworthy, then you're not a narcissist. I'm not sure it works like that, Apple user. I don't think it works like that. Um, Sock Monkey, am I an Aries or a Taurus? Yes. That is the endless question that has plagued my existence. I, I think I'm probably an Aries. A bit grumpy sometimes. Is that an Aries? I don't know. I paid more attention when I was younger. Um, but my brother, years and years ago, got me a key ring, which was an Aries key ring. And I still have it on my keys. And it says some not very nice things about being stubborn and... Um, uh, strong-willed, I think, would be a, a nice thing to say. Something's popping up on my screen. I've got to verify that I'm human. Oh, it's uh, TikTok gives me an existential crisis. So there we go. <laughs> no, no, Froggis, that doesn't make me a Tory. Thank you, Froggis. It's a whole new way to try and kill me, Froggis. Um, spirited anachronist is spirited, spirited and strong-willed. I often know my own mind. Well, actually, actually that's the ironic thing. <laughs> if you've even watched just 10 minutes of this, I think it's probably pretty clear that I, I don't have a clue what's going on in my own mind. Um, Aries is a goat. Yes. A ram. Okay, a ram. Uh, and not, and not a ghostly one. Um, thank you, Anachronist. I'm definitely not. Aries and Taurus does not make Taurus. Uh, Aries is the ram and Capricorn is the goat. Uh, ironically, my brother has got the exact same issue. I, I mean, obviously, we blame our parents. Has the exact same issue with being on the cusp of uh, Capricorn and Sagittarius. So there we go. It's all our parents' fault. Um, Aries ends on April the 19th, does it? <laughs> does it though? Does it though, Paula? Does it? I, I don't, I'm not sure that I'm that Taurus. Taurus is supposed to be quite chilled, aren't they? I'm not, I'm not chilled. <laughs> um, and that could you a dark force and a, a dark horse and a force to be reckoned with. I'll I'll concur <laughs> in my limited experience. <laughs> Although I think the way I accidentally said dark force, I think that that is probably it for you. <laughs> um uh, Miss Susie, can we can we not nine months before the cusp, can we can we not think about that is my parents were talking about here. Anyway, anyway, there's, there's me saying, oh, I'm not sure I really believe in star signs, but I'll happily do fucking tarot <laughs> every other month. <laughs> there we go. I should ask the ancestors. They have a greater knowledge of stars and shit like that. I'll ask them what my star sign is. But didn't it all change? They found, oh, I've done it again. I'm like, oh, sign off, Sam. Oh, no, here we go tangent didn't they make another um star sign so nobody is what they were is that me yeehaw pew 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 i feel a bit cheaper after the pew 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 i don't know um anyway anyway uh, 
there, there are two things that everybody always talks about. And one is the weather and one is star signs. Like everybody, like, like we've just proved, everybody should, um, you know, can talk about it whether they believe it or not. It's kind of, kind of nice, really. Like we're going to be all, all fluffy for a minute. Oh, it's kind of nice. And that could a question in my life choices every minute for the last hour and five minutes. I frequently do. <coughs> To say nothing of, of when I was <laughs> uh, introduced to my new neighbours yesterday. Yeah. Paul, if I should do a reading for myself, do you think? I'm not sure. Do you know what? We, um, we haven't had a tarot live in a while, have we? We should probably have one of those soon. Um, is next week the last week of the month? Because then that will be Dead Carl's sing-along. Yeah, it will be, won't it? So, right, okay, so we'll have Dead Carl sing along. You, you've got that to look forward to on Saturday, aren't I? Good to you. Uh, and then maybe we'll do a tarot at the start of the month. Um, I don't do proper tarot. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that proper tarot does, <laughs> does probably frown on uh, someone getting their cards read and just going, yeah, you're going to fucking die. Bad luck. Um, Anyway, 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 let's get up to date before I sign off. Um, <laughs> you feel a bit cheaper today as well, do you, Froggis? Yeah. And <laughs> Josh, you don't believe in the weather either. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, Miss Susie, can Dead Carl do 80s kids TV themes? That's quite tricky because of the whole um was spread quite wide geographically and i feel like if i did loads of stuff that was relevant to me it might not be relevant to everybody else but i'm sort of tempted i might just do queen or something because the um because because when well, i'm not doing fucking abba again i'll tell you that for nothing I'll do something, <laughs> we'll do something that I don't mind listening to all afternoon as I try and remember <laughs> how all the songs go. So maybe it'll be Queen. We'll have a Queen special. I've decided. Look at me being all decisive. Arr, you can tell I need a drink. Um, and that, Chris, do you think it helps me think more about a problem? Like a meditative thing. Um, yeah, I don't think mine even do that, anachronist. Let's not, let's not worry. No, Apple user, we're not a fucking ABBA. Again. Um, Yvonne, are the tarot pages still available on Patreon? Yes, they are. All three decks, the original deck, the Halloween deck, and the other one. Um, yes, they are all available to download and colour in. Yes. Um, oh Josh, I don't know what you've said M&M to now, because I've completely derailed my... Oh, that's your suggestion for what we should do. <laughs> I don't think so. Rap doesn't really work with Dead Carl. I think we've, over the course of it, we've tried a couple of rap things and they're really hard to, to translate with Dead Carl. <laughs> the Village People. Oh, but they've only got like two songs, like YMCA and In the Navy. Right? That, that's like it, right? <laughs> It'll be a really, really short one. <sighs> In the Navy. Oh, we're nearly at 20k. Oh, get us. Uh, well done, everybody. Um, we, need to have a, we need to have a gathering, a party. Do we, Miss Susie? That could be really difficult because we are really, really spread out. We're not even all on the same continent. That makes it jolly tricky, doesn't it? We'll have to see. We'll have to see what we can do at some point, won't we? Even if it's a virtual party, perhaps. Although, having said that, I'd, I'm, I'm not very good in person, as my new neighbours will attest. Anyway... <laughs> Not Discord party, not Discord again. Maybe a Zoom party, maybe. 
Josh, if we're all going to meet halfway, we'll be having... Is, is there an island in the middle of the Atlantic? <laughs> um, Paula, you could all come and hang out here. <laughs> but, <laughs> I've got a house full of aliens and increasingly full of razzlets. Space is limited, but then you would be able to meet the new neighbours and convince them that I am perfectly normal. And not an accountant. Um, anyway, Paula, you will be in England in November. Okay. Um, well, if if you are in England and down south, then that would be you and me and potentially anachronista uh, in real life. In real life. I'm, this isn't real life. I'm not in real life. Um, anyway, and, and technically Frogus is in the walls anyway, so yeah. Um, <laughs> scary thought, Paula. For who? For, for you? Or, uh, <laughs> and that, Christa, I think our father was yawning. It must have been that that you... <laughs> Papa, can you hear me? Um, Carl, the simulation is breaking. The human is breaking. He's coughing his lungs up now. Anachronist, that's what you can hear. And you can probably hear me. I'm still clutching Slay magazine and wafting it about because obviously I can't, you know, not do anything with my hands. You saw the fear in my eyes, Paula, for, for any number of reasons, uh, Paula, but none of them are, are for actually meeting you in real life. It's just, you know, the, the, the chaos that comes with it. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, everyone, I think I am going to uh, have to break everybody's hearts now uh, and think about signing off. Um, I know, I know. Happy birthday. Um, so, yeah, I think I should probably do that. So thank you everybody for joining me. There's an incredible amount of likes. Uh, I got up to date with the messages in the end. Uh, Carl, Paula can give me her fanfic notes. <laughs> no, I don't. I really don't want to see them. I really don't. It's disturbing. It's disturbing. Uh, I'm not going to sing the other song before we go. I'm going to enjoy the fact that we've not sung. Well, I say we've not sung any songs. I sang a little bit of In the Navy and... I sang, but can you hear me? Like that. So, I think we're good. Um, Miss Susie, you'll be around for like June, basically. Um, yeah. Uh, freckles. <laughs> freckles, Mutu. Freckles. How, how did we get onto freckles? Um, anyway. Chloe, you want a sub song because of your resub. Well, you'll have to ask Raz about that tomorrow. Not a democracy. Not a democracy. Um... <laughs> so I'm going to go and have a drink. I'm not going to be sensible. God help us for the escape room tomorrow. I am going to be sensible because I'm too old to be able to take it. Um, Chloe, but you want me to do one as one of your... <laughs> As one of your loyal mods. You are a very loyal mod. But I'm still not doing that. And I, I mean, I, you're just going to know. I'm just going to sign off now before, you, before the guilt really does get to me. Because it will. And I don't want it to. So, um, I am going to go and kiss my liver goodbye for a minute. Yeehaw! Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. Um... For a minute, I read that quickly. I thought, kiss, kiss my father. I don't want to do that. Um, anyway, yes, I am going to sign off now. So thank you, everybody, for joining me. Thank you for all of my birthday wishes. Um, thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you for all the yeehaws and the pew pew. Pew pew pews! I don't know what that was. It's, I've never been good with guns. I mean, not not like real guns, but, you know, like even as a kid when you're playing with guns, can't do the sound, can't do a machine gun sound. I'm, I'm going. So thank you, everyone, for joining me. <laughs> thank you. 
uh if you want more stuff check out the links in my profile and go and watch the videos and all of that and raz will be here tomorrow with an escape room in a bank that may or may not have a knife but will have singing yeehaw pew pew <laughs> thank you everybody here is the finger of doom here is the finger of doom here is the finger of doom jesus christ right now i'm going to stay live forever because i can't leave <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your birthday wishes. I'm going to go and get drunk. Yeehaw! Pew pew! Farewell!